New Patreon month, new Patreon month. Dude, it's been incredible. We just hit Cosmos Factory. CCR. CCR. Absolutely incredible album, front to back. And if you weren't here last month, here's what you missed. You missed Zeppelin 3, Andy's first time hearing it. Incredible. Some Bob Dylan singles off Blonde on Blonde. A couple of them. And the album that month that started off was George Harrison, All Things Must Pass. A lot of good things happened in last month. A lot of good things happened in this month. Go on there. Link in the description. Less than a cup of coffee. With that being said, back to the video. Back to the video. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day as well as a great life. As well, it's a great life. We're here on this glorious Wednesday. Rush Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, Rush dude, Wednesday, remember dude. Rush Wednesdays? I, I do. I'm remembering them right. I'm living it. Dude, I totally, <laughs> I totally forgot. Yeah. yeah that, was, that was a great time. That was a great time to be alive. It is also right now. Yep. Hitting some La Villa Strangiato. Which I, th I think still might be, the, it's a potential for my favorite Rush song of all time. It's really good. It's really good. Definitely isn't my favorite of all time from Rush. Twenty one twelve dude just has a certain place in my nerdy, my nerdy little heart. The 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 fighting the good fight against the dystopian guys trying to stomp out the music. I mean, as far as like a storyline, yes, this has like zero words. So this also does kind of a storyline. I don't know what the story is, but like I feel it though. I, there is a story. There for sure is a story. I just don't speak. <laughs> Dude, it's such a great song though. I'm very yeah. excited. I uh, I want to hit some live rush a couple months ago, and I, I was just looking up ones that seemed cool, and I saw this from 1979, and I was like, oh, we got to do this. Can we read the the bio on this? Like, there's like the description below the video, mm -hmm. and it's just great. The the description of this video we're about to watch says, "I was 19 at the time and saw this performance. It was my first Rush concert. Ooh. Pretty freaking yeah. cool. It was it was the the last." Uh, performance from the European tour in 79. Whoa, hold on. I didn't read the rest of this. This was the last performance of the European tour. Alex Lifeson hurt his finger because he had a very wild night with his wife. His finger came between the mattress and the bed. Whoa. I don't know if that's hearsay, Your Honor, but <laughs> I do like that it's there. So Can, that he, info came he, from the press manager from WEA Record Company at the time. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Wait, so that the finger incident <laughs> happened before this show? Yes, it looks like before oh, the performance. Oh, dang. So we're, we're, we're about to watch this man make it happen with the hurt thing. How do you... I, I don't get the whole thing with the mattress. Like how? Is he trying to grip? Is he like, I need more stability? Like, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> this how is that lot. happens. This is what. Either way, Yeah. ready to see Alex Lifeson make it happen with his current predicament? Let's get to it. Let's do it. Oh, there's the infamous sex-related uh, finger injury. Dude, the no, fingernail's uh, black. I was foolish and I hit it. This was the doctor, as a matter of fact. He diagnosed it as it's mental retardation. Well, right? You think it's all right? I think it's gonna be Wait, all right. That's his left hand. Got a little ulcerated. Oh fuck, uh, dude. Gyatopolis there. Oh uh, yes, yes. The septalopis also is a little. Uh, yeah, it's healing though. It's healing. Right? Yeah. This finger canceled three shows on this tour. Oh. That makes us fat, dude. Oh my god, there's the finger. Jesus. Yeah. He's still doing it, though.
was crazy. I forget sometimes how incredible he is. Oh, the base comes back. That's cool. his feet and all it's so wild Goodness, dude. Fantastic. Dude, about to play 21-12, bro.
You thought you'd give the audience a break. Not even close. No, you, you are. You thought you'd give Alex Lifeson a break. That finger. No. Well, I guess he, he gets some breaks. And... No, not really. No, I guess you're right. <laughs> I promise he doesn't. I guess you're right. Dude. Has also, to, he doesn't get a break in any song, really. That's so... Yeah, that's real. That's real. That's so funny. God, that was a beautiful fucking rendition. That was so sick. The fa- it's three guys, dude. It's every wild. time, Every time... I don't know, especially seeing like a live clip would really reminds you because you, you always know. Yeah. But when they're in the studio, you're like, oh, there could be some overlays and stuff. Yeah. But like seeing it live is crazy. It's so funny. I remember, I don't know if it's a Jack Black interview, but it's somebody <laughs> like that. Like, I, I'm pretty sure it's Jack Black. And he was talking about uh, Rush and he was like, honestly, they would not have been able to do it. Getty Lee would not have been able to do it if he didn't have such a big nose because he's like, He's playing things with, he's playing like the, the keys with his feet. He's playing bass crazy. He's singing and he has to like move the mic around. He's like, if he didn't have a snobs that was able to do that, they'd be fucked. They'd have no way. <laughs> that is such a Jack Black thing to say. Yeah. It probably is. And that's fucking hilarious. It's, they are so incredible. And it also, so that, for one, yeah. live. And the other thing that's made me think, because they are playing it fairly tight. Yep. But not as tight as the record. And I remember mm-hmm. like them talking about like La Vies Rangiato specifically was such a hard record to make Mm -hmm. that it like they were like we're not doing that again like that's Mm -hmm. too much and it also felt a a tiny bit uh slowed down slightly for them too yes yeah here and it just is so impressive that they did it in the studio like it makes the studio version even more impressive because of how impressive this is and it's like the studio version is still like 10 percent tighter you know which is a lot when you get up into Mm -hmm. those numbers it's like crazy it's very crisp yeah every every little bit of that yeah and it was just cool they're just so fun to have the finger that feels like an iconic rock yeah. moment that i can't believe i've never heard about i'm also very hyped because like i didn't realize his hair color was very very similar to mine it's got like, that kind of like orange little slight tint to it. it's hard to see it here but in the sun you definitely can see it yeah you can kind of they can kind of see it there yeah yeah it looks more like what you just saw yeah if, if i just get 10 times better at guitar i could have a little alex lifeson phase you could have an alex i seem to get a lot if better you just start, i seem to get way more chops start fucking and hitting your bed during sex <laughs> you'll be 90 percent of the way there <laughs> Right, that's so funny. Yeah, I love this. This is yeah, this is amazing, amazing. Love, love the war we got too. Got some lore. Got some. This is a great live video. There's some lore. There's a nice little description. Some cool memories. Like this is very, very rock and roll. And also the outro it. going into twenty one twelve. Yeah, like, that, that's perfect video. Perfect that's video. Awesome. This, awesome. I guess rating. I mean, I don't know how you rate it. As far as a live video, I'm thinking S tier. Yeah, I think the performance I, is A plus. But like, I think everything can like all around this. Yeah. Like to me, this is a perfect live video. You're definitely capturing a moment in history. I think definitely has to for, for for as far as live performances are concerned. Yeah, I think so too. I think that's wild. It's definitely cool. capturing a moment in history. Yeah, like the finger thing. Mm-hmm. Everything, everything is so cool. Them talking at the beginning. Oh, this is the doctor. Oh, yeah, it's the Smegulus Regulus. Is this figure? This figure ended uh, three days of the tool. Yeah, they're not British, but you know. <laughs> I, know. I, like, what are you doing? I don't know why I added that. That's my beat. Fine, you, you practicing. Uh, yeah, just really cool. Let us know what other videos to hit. Yep. So fun. More Rush Wednesdays in the future. For sure. Let's see you. Peace.